Hey everybody, welcome back to IT Videos. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at how you can take a Canon DSLR camera and use it as a webcam in Streamlabs or OBS uh, without a capture card. Now, I would recommend getting a capture card, something like the Elgato Cam Link. Um, that's probably the cheapest one. It's like $120. But if you can't afford that or you don't have one yet, uh, this will get you by. But it's not gonna give you quite the same quality, but in a little you know webcam video on your stream it shouldn't really matter so all you need is a camera the USB cable and the software so let's get started whoo that's hot all right First thing you're gonna need is EOS Utility. Uh, this is Canon software. I actually uploaded it to a Google Drive. I got the link in the description. So go ahead and uh, download that, install it. It's pretty simple. There's, It's an ISO file, so just open it up and click the setup. And it'll run you through the steps. Super simple, you guys can handle that. Now once you download EOS Utility, you're gonna get a little icon like this on your desktop. So you're gonna open that up and you're gonna get a window that looks like this. I can't open it now because I'm already using it. So I'm just gonna show you a snippet from the, this website here, uh, Canon Europe, I guess. So this is the window that you're gonna see. And you see this right here, it's grayed out, camera settings slash remote shooting. That's the option that we're gonna be using. So go ahead and plug your camera in to the USB on the side of the camera and turn the camera on put it to movie mode and then this option will uh, should be open your uh, camera driver is going to have to install first but that should only take a second and then this option will be available so once you open that you're going to get this right here now this is essentially all your camera settings uh, remotely on your PC so you can change all these on the fly so for example right now I'll just change the f-stop so as you can see, my camera is getting brighter and darker. So let me get that back. So yeah, so you can use this to control your camera. And you can also change some settings down here. But the button that you want to use is down here. It's called Live View Shoot. And when you open that, you're going to get a window that looks like this. Now this is going to be really choppy right here because... I'm recording through it and screen, uh, screen capping it at the same time. So this is going to be real choppy, but this is the window that you're going to have. And this is what we're going to be using as our capture for our webcam in Streamlabs. So I'm going to put this off to my other monitor, but you can... Oh, where was I at? All right, so I'm going to move this over to my other monitor. Uh, just so it's out of the way but you're actually going to want to make this window as big as possible so that way the capture area is as high as, of a resolution as we can get even though you're going to be making it small on your stream you you still want it to uh be as high quality as possible and my second monitor is actually vertical so it's not very big over there um just a tip you can double click on this sidebar here um, and by the way, this is uh, your focus settings, so you can change these settings and click on and it'll actually focus, so that's actually really helpful to get when you get in frame, you can get yourself focused. But anyways, you can double click here on this uh, bar and get rid of that to make it more of the, uh, the preview. So I'm going to put this on my other monitor. Now in Streamlabs, what we're going to do is I'm in a new scene, I'm going to add a window capture. So I got this here, and I'm going to choose the remote live view window from the EOS utility. Okay, done. Now, as you can see, I got this big thing. It's my whole, my whole monitor size. So to fix this, we're going to right click on it and go to transform, edit transform. And you can see these crop settings right here. So yeah, we're going to be using these crop settings and I'm just going to use my scroll wheel. And I 
made this smaller so you can see what I'm doing, but as I scroll, you can see it's cropping that side. So here we're cropping the left. We'll crop the right down. And then the top. I'm not doing this precisely either. You can take your time and get this perfect if you want. That's the top and then the bottom. All right, click done. And now you have your uh, cam capture. And since I'm recording, this is pretty choppy as you can see on the screen recording, but I'm gonna throw an example up right after the end of this and show you my camera recording straight to the card, a screen cap in Streamlabs uh, of the live view and then I'm also just going to throw up one of my 1080p webcam just to give you an idea of how much better this looks, even though we're just capping it off of another program versus, uh, you know, an everyday webcam. So, so this is the first test just to give you an idea of what it looks like straight off the camera. This is recording to the SD card and I'm uploading this to the computer. Um, so this is going to be the best that this is going to look in these conditions. So now we're going to take a look at the webcam being captured off of the live view on the PC monitor, such as what you would do in Streamlabs. All right, so this is me uh, screen recording the live view shoot um, software in Streamlabs. Um, I have this full screen, obviously, on the stream. So uh, this is as bad a quality as this is going to be, and I think it looks pretty passable. And um, I'm going to shrink it down so you can see what it looks like if you were using it as a webcam. So, like, even something like that. I think this looks pretty good. Um, I think it definitely looks better than the webcam, which I'm going to show you next. Uh, you get a little bit of bokeh. The lighting looks way better. And, yeah, I think this looks decent enough to get you by until you can get a capture card. So this is screen capping the live view in Streamlabs. So this is what it would look like on stream. All right, now this is just like a normal Logitech webcam. Um, I don't see the model on there. I don't know. It's a 1080p. I think it shoots 60 FPS, but I don't think this looks nearly as good. Like the color just doesn't look quite as right. Uh, you got no bokeh effect, and it just, I don't know, it doesn't look as crispy. Um, even as the captured uh, screen capped live feed. So personally, I would... Uh, if you have a DSLR, definitely set this up. It's not that hard. And one last thing that I would recommend picking up is actually an AC adapter for your camera. I picked one up for like 15 bucks, and that'll just allow you to keep your camera running 24-7. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, personally, I would go with the DSLR. Until you get a capture card, at least, this will definitely get you by. So if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like, and leave any feedback in the comments. Take it easy.